Hi everyone, we're the Australian Rhythmic Gymnastics Senior Group and, and we're going to the Tokyo Olympics. Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know this, this is the first official Australian Rhythmic Group to ever go to the Olympic Games. So you guys are first off the rank. Um, and we're all so, so excited for you. It's pretty awesome to be able to talk about group and to talk about group as a pathway to the Olympic Games for not just one person now, but for five people um, to represent Australia, which is pretty special. So can I get you to start off by talking about what drew you to group um, in the first place and how did you get involved in group? I think you said it right there. I think um, because we're so used to only letting one person go to the Olympics, we realised that being a part of a, a group um, gave you more of an opportunity and you could go with five people and they're all your friends. And um, yeah, I think that's what mainly drew us to it. And when did you decide to become a group, the five of you? In 2018, we went to a world championships and that was our like first qualifying um, event for the Tokyo Olympics. And then after that, one of our team members decided that they wanted to take a different path. So we were looking for a new team member and came across Emily, who moved from <laughs> South Australia to Queensland to join our group. And yeah, for the next, uh, has it been like two and a half years? We've been training like every day, um, 30 hours a week. We've been polishing our routines. We've had the same routines since 2019 with just some added collaborations and yeah, Emily's been a great part of our team and we're excited for the Olympics. Um, and what was it like in the beginning when you all came together? Did you just like click straight away or did it take a while for you to all learn how to work with each other? We definitely clicked straight away. Um, obviously, having different personalities, we had to sort of get to know each other. And over the past few years, we've definitely done that really well. And now I mean, we're sisters now, we know how each other works. Um, yeah, so um, we did click, but now we've just got an extra special bond. And when did you start your dream of competing at the Olympic Games? When did that become a reality? And when did you decide that was the goal that you wanted? I think after the 2018 World Championships, we kind of realised that if we put our heads down, our bums up, it can, it can happen for us, yeah. And it can be possible. And did any of you have that goal as individual athletes? Because most of you were doing individuals, if not all of you, before group. Um, was that ever a goal for you as an individual athlete? I think it was a goal for all of us yeah, um, individually. And then the group opportunity came up. You know, I started group in 2015 and um, a lot of us have been doing group for more than five years, um, as, well, as well as individuals at the time. And then we just, um, after World Championships, we all just decided to just choose group because we saw the pathway to the Olympics and it's, it it's yeah, yeah, it's a lot clearer that goal than what it was to be an individual gymnast at the time. So we all just chose that pathway. How does group compare to individuals? So for me, I look at group and I think you've got this great support network around you, but then I've got to rely on all these other people. In individuals, it's, lonelier um, but I don't have to rely on anybody else if I'm going to work hard I'm just going to work hard I'm going to do it for me like how do you kind of work through those challenges of training with five different people how does that dynamic work I think we're lucky because we're all really close and we can understand um, if someone's having an off day we can pick it up straight away and now since we've been together for a few years we know how to bring that person up to make sure that we have a good training session because if um, only half of us are there mentally on the day and the other half are just like, you know, tired or, you know, sore, have an injury, so then cool. training doesn't work at all. It's really important to make sure that we're all there physically and mentally mm -hmm. for training. And do you all hang out when you're not training? Are you all friends? Do you do things on the weekends together or do you kind of like training's training and then outside is separate? We do a lot of things outside of gym. Um, like I was saying before, we're all sisters now and we do things that siblings would do. Um, we go on coffee dates, lunch dates, we go to movies, we go bowling. Um, so we're really a really tight-knit family. 
it's more of a fun side rather than the serious business side that we have in the gym all the time. So yeah, it's cool to go to the movies and to, you know, get a smoothie all that together and have some fun. And what's the journey been like to the game so far for you girls? Anything but smooth sailing. Yeah, yeah so it's been a bit of a roller coaster physically and mentally for a lot of us. Um, we've been through lots of injuries, like health problems, but um, we'll be there on the day. We'll give Australia a good name and we'll do our best. Who's been instrumental in your journey and why? In our journey, Gina, our approach has definitely been a, a big help and support during this journey. If it wasn't for her, us five would not be here today. We would be in this position and we wouldn't be going to the Tokyo Olympics. And she loves us like her own daughters. Mm, yeah. That's so nice. And she's been to two other Olympic Games. So you are yeah. her first group that she's ever taken to the Olympics. I think she's achieved more than any other coach in all of Australia so it's pretty yeah. special that she's, she's very experienced yeah that she's your coach and she's leading you on that journey that's really amazing what do you think's your assets as a group or something that maybe other countries think about when they see you um, at international competitions um, when we compete internationally we've been told before that we have good expression and we look like we have fun on the floor which I think is a nice compliment to hear and we've also been told that as a group, um, it looks like like you can tell that we're friends and that we're close. Whereas with other groups, I don't know if that's necessarily the case. So it's nice to know that um, our friendship kind of shines through when we perform. Do you have anything, a favourite part of your routine, favourite collaboration or favourite routine that you've prepared for these Olympics? Yeah, we've got a couple of special collaborations in the routines. Um, I do this big straddle over Jamaica and ball, and that's my favorite collaboration. Um, Jamaica and Alana do this really cool collaboration called the Core. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, we have some videos of when we were first trying out the skill, and um, it she definitely looked like a koala then, <laughs> <laughs> holding on for dear life. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about um, some of your pre-competition rituals or quirks that you do as a group? Um, our pre-competition ritual is um, we kind of form a, what do we call it? A prayer circle, prayer circle. and we link okay. our pinkies together like this. Again, we take a big deep breath like this and then we give each other some fist bumps and we say positive affirmations like let's go we can do it awesome I love that we will all be watching yeah. out for this nice little pre-competition ritual that you have now um for those of us watching at home and and starting to have our own um Olympic aspirations uh, what's some advice you would give to someone starting out on their Olympic dream enjoy every moment uh, we would say to never give up never and to always up. believe in yourself and mm -hmm. to surround yourself with people who support you, family and friends and coaches and mm -hmm. everyone around you. And dream really big. It doesn't matter how, how big the dream is. If you work towards it, it can be achieved. And we're all doing that together so it can be done. done. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. You can do it. If you dream big and you work towards it, you can do it. And how are you feeling about uh, leading into the Olympics? Are you nervous? Are you excited? What's kind of the energy amongst the group? Both of those. Yeah, we're nervous, nervous and excited. excited. <laughs> we're glad to that we're all here. We've all made it. We're together. Um, we're still in just go out and enjoy ourselves, do our best and make Australia proud. Yeah. <laughs> We've got nothing to lose. Go for yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Just go out there and show everyone what we can do Yeah, for Australia. Well, awesome girls. We'll all be cheering you all the way screaming from our lounge rooms go Aussie and so excited to see you put your foot on the feet on the floor and show Australia um what group's all about and that we're really good at group you guys are awesome thank you, thank you.